Okay. This is an important lesson. And he's Russell Brunson. We're, we're, what we're doing is we're reviewing traffic secrets um, and how it can help you in your business. And so I just love this book. It's by Russell Brunson. And uh, I use it for my online tennis instruction. We also started an online summer camp. And, you know, you always have to go back to this. No matter what you are doing, you've got to know how to get traffic, which is basically eyeballs on your offer. And what he's going to talk about, no matter whether you're doing Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, doesn't matter. There's three types of traffic that he talks about and how you go about getting it. All right. So. And, and that's it. Like lots of times people make the internet more mysterious than it is. So he talks about the, the first thing that you can do is you can work your way in. And this is how a lot of people have to start. And that's traffic that you earn. Okay. So what is traffic that you earn? It basically means it's, it's organic in some way. It, it's, it's, you're not paying for it and you're maybe creating a lot of content. So you're earning it by, you know, putting posts on Instagram every day and getting a following or making YouTube videos, uh, posted on Facebook. So then people start to pay attention to you. That's traffic that you're earning going on someone's podcast or starting a podcast. You know, certainly one of the uh, faster way to earn it is to use other people's traffic and in that, you know, you can build a relationship in some way and then you get on their podcast or you get on their YouTube show or, or whatever. Uh, you're earning that because you're you're building that relationship with somebody. Now, the biggest mistake that Russell Brunson says people make is when they're trying to earn this traffic is they're always thinking of themselves first. Like, I want to be on your podcast. Let me on your podcast. I got really great stuff where you have to figure out a way how you can make it worth it for them. OK, what are you going to do to make it worth it for them to come on? their show or for them to come on your show and promote the show. You've always got to be thinking about what are they going to like about what's in it for them, not what's in it for you. And we'll get into that probably on some other uh, videos. So I'm not going to go too deep into that, but just keep that in mind. Like Russell says, he gets people every day basically saying, you know, can you be on my podcast? Can I be on your podcast? And, you know, it's annoying to him because he's like, well, no, I've worked really hard to get where I am and I don't even know who you are. And you're asking to, you know, come on and promote your stuff. So uh, just remember that, you're, you know, even though, you know, you got something great, it's a big turnoff if you're doing that. So that's, that's one way you can get traffic. Okay. Now the next way you can get traffic, which basically people, you know, seeing your stuff. And I can tell you it, it, the concept is easy, but Getting it to work is hard. It's something that in my online tennis business I'm working on right now. Been doing YouTube ads for, uh, I don't know, since January. And now we're in June. So about six months and still not, I'll be fully transparent, still not turning a profit. We're getting leads. Our leads started at $16 a lead. Now we're down to $2 a lead. So we're getting better, but we still have not been able to make that irresistible offer to where on the front end, you know, you're putting in a dollar and getting back two dollars. So like be careful about traffic that you control. Traffic that you control is traffic you buy. It's basically running an ad on YouTube. It's running an ad on Instagram. It's running an ad on Facebook. Facebook, I think, is getting harder and harder to be profitable. YouTube, you can still get uh, leads for a pretty good price. Let me know if you know any good Facebook strategies where you still gain cheap traffic, clicks, all that. I'm also running Instagram ads. And uh, one, one strategy that's working really well, uh, we're running the summer camp and, and it's actually working out great to where I'm putting a free summer camp and I'm telling people to just message me if they want more information. And that's getting a lot of intrigue because I guess it's just more personal. Uh, so that's getting, uh, that, that is working out really good. So that's traffic that you control because you're controlling how many eyeballs see it every day by by doing that you understand that you're buying the traffic so you're controlling it you you can basically you know pick how many views you want a day how many clicks do you want a day the only thing that's tough is there's no guarantee of how many people are going to sign up for whatever your free lead magnet is and then become customers that that you don't control that you have to figure out how to convert and um it's a lot tougher to do off 
cold or lukewarm traffic than it is from the last thing we're going to talk about, which, which people underestimate. It's like people all of a sudden, it's too many people leave this out because they think, oh, it's, it's dying. But uh, so you guys get that? This traffic that you control. So you buy your way in is number, step number two. The third step and the most powerful step that it seems like most of the people that I pay attention to, uh, especially friends, it's the missing ingredient and, and they're not doing it. That's, that's traffic. Can you guys see that? Traffic that you own, which is your email autoresponder system. Okay, Your emailing system is the most powerful kind of traffic and people don't pay attention enough attention to this is they're they're working hard to get likes and comments and shares on all these social media platforms but the last time i checked those don't pay any bills at all the thing that pays the bills is you can send when, when it says traffic that you own now you actually don't own your email i mean email too your your email service could all of a sudden say well you spam too much we're set we're shutting you down so you don't actually own own it but you have a lot more control over it than anything on Facebook and, and YouTube and Instagram, especially like Facebook, they're always changing stuff. You know, whenever they start a new platform, it's always great. They'll send you plenty of traffic and you, you, you can grow it organically. And as soon as they build that up, what do they do? They start making you pay for it. And then so things that you're working for, the traffic that you're, you're, you're earning, they start making it less and less valuable to where like you can get a thousand uh, Facebook fans and then all of a sudden they show that to like 5% of the people to where at least your email, you're going to, you're going to have a chance to put that out on a daily basis in front of your list. Now, whether your list opens your email or not, that's another story, but at least you can put it out in front of them and give them a choice to open up your, your emails and, you know, consume your content and buy your content or, or your product or whatever. So, that's super important. So what you, what, you, what you want to remember is the engine of your business, which not a lot of people get. The engine of your business is the email, right? It is the email. So um, you want to be earning it and then buying it. I, the fastest way is you can buy traffic just to, get, just to get your brand awareness up. So if you're making any kind of money, if you want to get off the ground fast, maybe not even start making money fast, but at least people starting to know you and like your page and build the following, I would I would do traffic that you buy first, right? That's traffic that you control and then start building up your organic traffic at the same time. So then when they come there and they see your channel, it's just not an ad, it's like all this other stuff and then maybe they start to follow you and then you can, so it's like this earn buy type thing. That's what I would do if you have any kind of budget. Um, and then you got to start. You don't pay attention to not, not having emails set up and following up and communicating with them because that's where you're going to make your money. Very hard to make money straight off of Facebook, YouTube, Instagram ad. Very hard to make it right away unless you've got something that's so visual and such a high demand of want to where all you got to do is look at it once and go, I want that. You know, that that's that's uh, easier than maybe like an information product to where you have to convince them like, oh, this person really knows what they're talking about. That's going to take some convincing. So uh, there you go. This is traffic secrets. We're going to be doing lessons on it daily. If you want to get your own, I got a link and, and uh, I got a link below. I got several links that you can start consuming this stuff. It's really, really good. And we'll see you tomorrow in the next video.